for anybody. I'll take the question. So for me, there was a, there was a four or five step process for auditioning. So once I got it, obviously the, the first thing was just super, super ecstatic, super excited. And that lasted about 30 minutes. Ooh. And, and it was the best 30 minutes of my life. And then a wave of realization came over me. And then I understood that I was playing Darth Vader. And if I mess this up, I'm going to be crucified. And that's and that's how my journey began. Wow. Yeah. What about you, Tate? What was the question? What was it like when you found out you were going to be in Star Wars? It was kind of surreal. I mean, and they don't know what that looks like, right? It was a whole brand new world that they were just creating, and so you don't. I had no idea the magnitude or scope of what it was, and then I don't think. A lot of people did. It just unfolded. I mean, the story unfolded as you got more privy to it, but it was so closed off and such a novel piece of art in so many different ways um, that it wasn't until, I mean, it's still landing on of, of what it is. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to self-recognize um, where you're sitting kind of from, from the present moment. It's like in the rear view mirror, I'm like, oh my God. That, but I'm never, you know, Never, uh, not in a great degree of magnitude of uh, gratitude about the uh, experiences, like being in a master class with these guys that have been experts in the field for decades. And there was just something to learn and something that was magical that popped every time that I walked on set. And uh, from conversations back to whatever. So the whole thing is still growing in, in me. And um, I, I don't really know how to answer the question except to just get wordy about it. But <laughs> if you guys don't know, Tate was the first person killed in the Mandalorian, correct? Yeah, yeah. First person to speak. <laughs> you shot in the bar. I was the first person. Oh, wait, but you were shot. Oh, uh, no, I stabbed. Oh, you're shot. Oh, yeah. I'm the second person. Oh. <laughs> so I've been lying, everybody. I thought that I was the first person who died in the Mandalorian. Oh. But I am actually the second person. Interesting. So I retract that statement to well, everyone. We don't know if we can believe him at this point. Yeah, at this point, I don't know. <laughs> Was I in the Mandalorian? We'll have to check. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question for Carrie. What was it like to wear that suit? Um, it, 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 there was there's there's a lot of people that that um, that uh, went into creating that, and they made sure that uh, that I was comfortable. So it wasn't that bad. I mean, they, you know, they were there the whole time, made sure if I needed to take a break or needed water or anything like that. And I've, and I've been doing it for a while, so I know how to kind of condition my body to to deal with it. And I think once once I'm, I was in it, and then we started performing and acting and all that, and I, honestly, I forgot that I had it on until the end of the night when I took it off. My body was like thanking me, but but uh, during it, it was you know it wasn't it wasn't it honestly wasn't as horrible an experience as maybe it might look like. How long did it take to get ready to shoot? I, once we started filming, it was quick. It was like 20 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes wow. To get kind of going. I mean, in the beginning, we were trying to figure things out and get a system going. It takes a little longer, but but once we once we got going, it was it was it was really quick. We we kind of got into the habit of not getting me suited up too far in advance. Okay. In the beginning, it's like I get suited up and sit for you know an hour when they got everything ready. Once they realized it was only taking 20 minutes, then then I was probably the last person that they called to set. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Do we have any questions in the audience? Right here. So this question for Tate. Um, you played Paz, correct, in Mandalorian? You did? So um, first of all, how was it being able to put on a big ass suit of armor like that and you know, be one of these super interesting characters that having a cool ass cool ass name like that and having their character expand from uh, the Clone Wars and how that's gonna expand further on in the Mandalorian? <coughs> Yeah, it's my favorite character in that series, and uh, I, I I think that um, the magical thing about it is that it's like a guy just like any of us saw Boba Fett years ago, and that ruminated into this whole thing, right? And and with all the you know, what are these backstories, and how do these things all piece together? And it's a beautiful, it's part of this mythical lore that this art piece is, right, of Star Wars that's been going on for all these decades now. It's just cool to be a piece of that, and, and, um, and I, you know, I'm excited to see how that unfolds too. I've asked questions, or, you know, I'm, a, you know, ask Loni questions about like, what do you think about origins of it, and 
and he says stuff, you know, but we'll see, you know, it's, uh, but it's an interesting world because they don't miss a beat, right? There's nothing that doesn't match up. There's nothing that contradicts the other thing. It's a perfection piece. Any other questions? Where? Oh, wow. All right. I have, a, I have a question for Amy. Oh. <laughs> and I'm only asking this question because... So, so ask it. No, I, I'm asking this question because, you know, in, in Boba Fett, we, we, had, we had David there, and, and I would ask, how long did it take you to get that on yeah. in a day? Because basically your whole body is covered, correct? Yeah, from like the, st the stomach up. Yeah, and, yeah. It, and then also, what's that process? It's, the process is, starts very early in the morning. Um, and it was actually probably longer to get rid of the hair and get the hair down and get the, the skull cap on and do all that before we started with the paint and, and then actually putting on, um, you know, the headpiece. But it was like five hours. So, so, so do you have to like stand up and, and they well, do it with the spray gun or, or I, so mean, I know that's kind of how they do it now, but that was back then. This was, just, that was 20 years ago. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know, I was a production assistant on Star Wars, which is how I sort of crossed over from being a PA one day and then on set the next day as, as my character. Um, but back then, I was just talking about this with someone. We didn't have phones. We didn't, like, what do you do when you're, now everybody's like sitting on their phone <laughs> in these long processes. And I just remember we did it at Industrial Light and Magic and we were in a, you know, just a room with me and the the two people that were doing the makeup and then the assistant um, costumer, and we just talked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we sat, we didn't watch TV, we just actually sat there and had the full experience of, of, of creating the character. And, and me, me being a nerd for Star Wars, <laughs> taking up all everybody's time. Me being a nerd for Star Wars, the fact that you, you weren't there when ILM still existed, when it was still like, when they still had like the creature shop and all that. We stuff. did, we had the model shop. So I yeah. got to experience sort of the best of both worlds because um, the model shop was still going, the model shop, I mean, these guys, were, some of these guys are the guys that have been there since the beginning. Yeah. And then I got to work with people like Dennis Mirren and you know, just all these kind of like Star Wars, you know, legends. History, yeah. Yeah, so it was kind of the, or it was the early 2000s, so it was the old school and the new school. Really, it's kind of that, that sort of it, was the, it was really cool to be a part of. Yeah, yeah, very, I mean, I had no idea that it would turn into what it turned into 20 years later. Pretty cool. That's cool. Good.